it back. Okay. Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing and then trying to escape. Oh my god. What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she just wanted to get outside these walls for a while. Ever since the incident you've made this place feel I don't know oppressive we've made it safe she was definitely trying to escape she had most of our ammo and medicine with her she screwed us shell all of us and now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go you do know why I'm telling you this right yeah you want me to take care of it you and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. But we did. It was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us 100%. But she's one of us. Th this is different. No, she's not. Not anymore. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. What's wrong? Am I in trouble? What I'm gonna say is gonna be hard to hear. What is it? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of ammo and medicine and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? She's just scared. She made a mistake. That'll be her last mistake. Becca, Stephanie is your friend. Was my friend. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there. Your. Are you okay? You want to talk about it? No, I don't. Just want to get it over with. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, 
Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No. I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Chill. Time. Help. Yep. Throw away. What are you doing? Shell? Shell, what the hell? Sit down, get safe. Shell, hey! Shell, be safe on the way, Thomas. Now we fall! What the fuck? Oh. God damn it! So, yeah, nice part. Go with Russell. Then it's just Bonnie left. One hundred and eighty four days in, Russell. He's dead. She probably hurt. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, hide. Do this and we see an old friend. Fuck you. Fuck you, man. Get out of here. That ain't very fucking nice, kid. I ain't the kid. You gotta be careful. These ain't times to piss off a stranger. Look, I don't care what you do to whatever corpse you find. I wasn't. What's your name? Don't matter. What? You don't like the name, Russell? Or maybe that's just the name of the guy you or your homies robbed, huh? I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob you. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? Mine. I didn't steal it. All right, good. I don't like thieves. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise, and I'm bored. Come on. You don't Let's like thieves. Do. Ain't gonna wait forever. Nah, I'm good. Thanks. I don't want to ride. Jesus, hope these are am sensitive. I said I'm good. Fine. I think he's gonna accept. Huh. Change your mind? Can you get me to stage bro? Let's find out. Get in. Get in. Fine. Oh, yeah, get in. Let's tear it up. Name's Nate, by the way. Thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh. No. Here you go. I'm straight, thanks. You're not uptight, are you? Is this the fucking apocalypse? This is like nothing. No, I'm just good, all right. All right, all right. You want to tell me about where you come from, at least? Must have been a crew. Any tale back where you come from? 
Maybe drop you off and do a double back. Can we just drive? We? Oui. You want to sit on my lap? I just don't want to talk. You're a tough little nut, Russ. Look, man, I'm sorry if I freaked you out at first. We all got our way of coping with shit, right? I guess I can come across a bit. Ah, whatever. God, an asshole. There you go. Relax. We're gonna have some fun. Why don't you tell me where you were before you got here? Fine. There was seven of us. I didn't have any family there. Enough. They're all at my grand's down the states. There was a dad and a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. And a teacher and his wife. The leader was this guy. Back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so he didn't add nobody to him. We found survivors, it was the same every time. He. he Let it out, Paco. Just. We gonna kill these folks and take this stuff or what? Then bang! They'd be dead. Anyway, I couldn't handle it. Weeks of it, I packed my shit up and figured I could make for grands alone and try to find my family. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, they didn't. What would you give her? Strong six? Just tell me something about her. How was the rat? Give me a little something. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. Put it right in here. Why you gotta be like that? Like what? Always talking about women like that. Women? <laughs> okay, well, let, let me see if I can answer your question. Because, because the hunger a man's got for a woman is all we got left now. No laws, no jobs, ain't nothing that make us men. But they ain't eating all the women yet. Whatever. Let's try this again. All right, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. What the fuck? Come on, scale of one to ten. What do you think? Ah, oh, shit. Right? What do you think? Here, get alert. Fuck! Like a nine, right? Get off me! Maybe you got high standards. Help! Help! If you say five, I'm gonna flip. Tell me, Russ. Five! Fucking five! Oh, come on, man! Damn it. Jesus. You're freaking crazy. Would you load that? Bullets in the glove there. Yeah, I don't like that guy. Look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. Alright. Oh, oh shit. shit! Go! Boss! Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! You got bullets this time? Don't think about it. Just run. I'll keep his fucking head down. Oh yeah, sure you will. Asshole. Good hustle. What happened to I'll cover you? Look how good you did. 